Hi everybody, this is Kathleen. Welcome to my channel. <sighs> Sorry, I had to catch my breath for a second there. Um, it's been sort of a hectic uh, three or four days, but I wanted to do a video with you guys. I felt like it's been a while since I've actually done a process video, so that's what today will be. I am working on my design team project for Oldesina Scrap Ann. You can find her on uh, YouTube, and she has an SD, SD shop, shop well, uh, and uh, you can uh, check her out there. The kit that I'm going to work with today is called Forget Me Not. Forget Me Not. And her name is Oldesina. You can find her kit. It's really beautiful. It's huge, huge kit. Uh, so I am trying to use as much as I can, but I don't think I can even use everything that came with. So what I already started working on off camera is this folder. I know it's huge, so I'm going to turn it this way. I've got to stop making such huge things. <laughs> My camera doesn't go up that far. <laughs> so anyway, I'm in love with this kit. I think everyone knows I'm always talking about I love birds. So I was so excited to work with it because it has all the images that I love. The vintage ladies, the birds. Um, it was so easy to just start. I started collaging this. It's actually um, one of those CD holders. Before I forget, you guys, I'm sorry for really bright, colorful <laughs> brandade. That's all I could find. I jammed my finger this weekend, so um, since I did have to work. So this is this. I just opened it all up, and then I started gluing it onto a page. And just by the time I glued so many layers, all these are little layers of paper, it made it really tough, so it made a good cover. But well, that's what this is. And then I just put some really cute trim around here, like made like a peekaboo window. And I love that bird, I love it. So I'm just gonna show you what I did, and then we're gonna work on some ephemera for this. And I need to do something with this back piece here. So I did make a pocket. It's a really tight pocket, but I did make a pocket here. And then I cut out these two um, ladies and just glued them on. This little heart right here is just adorable. This came from Miss Ivy Ling. And I and also this was wrapped in a box or covered a box. So I just made a bow out of it. And then just glued on some lace, lace down the side. And then I had this fabric ribbon. I just like the colors. So when you open it, I felt like it blended somehow the colors together. I wanted to make this delicate and dainty, but I also wanted to make it outdoorsy since there were birds. I didn't want to go way over the top with the delicateness. I did incorporate a little bit of delicate lace here. Um, I think this is delicate too, but just the brownish tones for some reason to me feels not as much as this delicate, which doesn't make sense because if it was really old lace, that'd be a whole nother story, but this isn't really old lace. This is not my antique lace, but I do love that lace anyway. So this page, again, it's all collage pieces, papers from the kit. I did make a pocket here. And actually this pocket is the top of an envelope that comes in the kit. I just cut it out. And then I just used some really pretty trim here. There's two layers of lace. So there's one layer here and then this layer here. And this image is gorgeous too. Oh, let's see, I think I might have a hair there. Okay. Okay, on this is actually just cardboard from a box. I, I don't remember what box it was from. I. I guessed them, and I actually did several of them. I'm going to show you. Uh, see, I just had this. I guessed them white, and I thought that would be really cute. I like the brown showing through. And then I have my little pocket. So this back side, I think it's beautiful coloring. I love that. I did connect the two pieces of paper with this, if you guys can see that. That is actually... Um, <laughs> That is um, an old sheet I got at a thrift shop. And I love old sheets. I love tearing them up and turning them into fabric ribbon. Okay, 
So let's work on doing something with this back. I'm kind of feeling like I might want to make a variety of envelopes and fun papers and things and clip it on. So when somebody gets this, I think it would be a lot of fun. I think it'd be fun to go through all the envelopes. Um, I'm thinking about something like this. It would be fun to me to open all these different envelopes and finding little treasures in them and uh, maybe little old letters. I don't know. And also, of course, I want to fill stuff inside of here, too. So I'm going to move this. And I just kind of want to show you all the stuff I still have to work with. I have all of this plus more. So there's a lot. So I'm just going to leave some of this here. So that way I can get inspired. I started working on making... Um, an actual envelope. Hold on. What did I do with the other half? Here we go. I thought that would be really cute right there. If I glued those two pieces of paper together and made a little envelope. And then I'll hang it tuck spot. I mean, I'll hang it flat from here that will come down. I thought that would be really cute. And then when I have the back of my journal, or this isn't really a journal, I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's just a cute book, a cute booklet. Um, I just, I don't know why I decided to do this. I just kind of fell together. Sorry for my dogs, you guys. I know that it's really quiet right now where I'm at um, in my neighborhood. Normally I'm not home during the weekday, so I'm hearing them go crazy and barking nonstop. I thought something hanging like that with some other little envelopes, you know. Mm -hmm. So maybe hang stuff like that. Um, make a little tags. Put pretty images. Um, look at how pretty this envelope is to you guys. Love that. I, was, I saw just in left field. I saw a home on a video with a ceiling that looked like this. It had four uh, um, paintings. I don't know how they did that, but it was so beautiful on the ceiling. Have you guys, this is, I'm totally going <laughs> left field, but there's a show I discovered on YouTube called Brothers, Brothers of Decay. They go into all these abandoned homes and a lot of them are beautiful like chalets and castles and big houses and they just show you what's inside and there's so much beauty and I was uh, I was having an attack because there's all this vintage everything that we love and they don't take any of it and it's just going to crumble and get destroyed and I thought take it why don't you take it <laughs> check them out you guys it's called brothers of decay I was up all night the other night I had to watch the show I got obsessed <laughs> anyway okay let's just start working on this thing shall we <laughs> I can stop babbling on about brothers of decay I just discovered them. I never knew they existed. So that's why for me, I was all excited because I, one, I love history. Um, the other reason, not only do I just love history, but you know, I put that glue too far up. I, um, I thought it would be so cool to um, see inside of old homes. You know, I never get that glimpse. So it was, really cool. it's cool to see the show i don't know how much of it is real and if it's staged or what because do really that many people leave their beautiful items behind i find it hard to swallow um unless other countries don't think like americans i don't know i just don't really know okay isn't that cute i love that okay so i'm gonna have to figure out a flap I didn't fold good. Look at. Let me see if it's not too late to refold that just a little bit. See, this is. I realize that I don't measure, so things aren't perfect. But I hate measuring, you guys. I feel like it just takes too much time. I don't want to do it. I just don't want to do it. That's a crazy dog. He thinks that trucks are coming. <laughs> and delivering stuff. I'm telling you, if a truck goes by, 
he's growling and barking, I guess because we've had deliveries. So he thinks he's doing his job and scaring him away. And it's just so darn annoying. See how cute that is? I love that. Let me get rid of this, these little pieces right here. So anyway, it just feels so good to sit here and craft. It's been such a stressful week at work. Um, where I work, I am the last line of defense. If nobody can come in, I'm it. I was it this weekend. Um, and that I don't mind in all reality. I don't have a problem coming in. That doesn't bother me. I mean, it's not fun because it's a weekend and I hate losing my weekends, but it's a good time to connect. Ooh, isn't that cute? I love that. Love it. I'm going to get rid of some of this from the top. So it gives a, it's a good time to connect with my residents where I work. Um, I'm an admin for a boarding care facility for those who have, have a mental health diagnosis. So uh, it's a good time to to connect and and so like I said I don't mind being there. Um, so where I live, what's happening right now? <clears throat> you may have seen it on the news, and this is going to be old news if you're watching this way past May of May March 2023. Uh, but. There's flooding going on in a little town about a mile away from me where I live. And it's really terrible. These poor people, um, like 1,700 people were displaced. Their homes are ruined. Their cars are ruined. The flood came in. I guess a levee broke. And it's a farming community, so I know they don't have a lot of money. So I just feel really bad for them. They're all at a shelter. and But some of my staff could not get through. The highways are closed, and it's a main thoroughfare. I don't know if you're familiar with California at all, but Highway 1 was closed. And um, so um, so a lot of my staff was have used Highway 1 to get here, and they couldn't. Every road was closed. It was bizarre. Uh, my town that I live in, and Wat I live in Watsonville, California, in my town is um, a little small, kind of a farming community, really. Look at how cute that is, I love that. Wouldn't it be cute to sew that? Wouldn't that be cute? I'm probably gonna sew that. I wanna clip, I should've clipped that before, huh? Maybe like a little pocket? Hold on. Let me get my punch. I don't know what I do with my small punch. I do have a bunch of punches, but all I got is this jumbo punch right here. Okay, so I'm going to use a jumbo punch. So anyway, I went into work and uh, whew, it's a lot of hard work. What, the, what I had to do was um, cook and clean and pass out medications and um, dealing with people who are having, you know, not doing so well, um, having to do a hold to help get them better, psychologically better. Isn't that cute? Love it. Hi, dog. Hi, honey. He's trying to sit on my lap. So, anyway, um, so I worked till probably about four from seven to four, but on the phone at six and on the phone till 10. Cause one of my residents had to, um, like I said, had to get a hold so we can get him back on track with his medications. And um, trying to think how I want to close that. You know what I thought would be cute? Like a little uh, blue. Uh, let's see, what did I do with him? Hold on guys. Don't lose. Don't give up on me yet. <laughs> Apologies, I, I'm so not organized. I just was so excited to start crafting and it's getting late. I wanted to do this. Look at 
that was in my mind. Uh, so look at this, guys, look at this loveliness. This bag of loveliness. I got this from Sheila um, at Boho Daydreams. And she was selling just her bags of this sari ribbon. And I wanted all these colors. So I was so excited um, to find like a multi-pack like that. And it was so reasonable. So uh, she has a Facebook group. You guys can go to that Facebook group and check her out. She is not selling, I don't think, until she comes back from this retreat that she's doing. See how cute that will be? But let me ink the insides first because I hate white. I want to do something for that. So she sells, she sells her um, ribbons and she makes the most beautiful packages, you guys. Whoop. Let's use blue. Hold that thought. Everything is falling on the ground because I have no space, literally. I think my dog just ran off with my ink, my inker. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh man, that is so funny. <laughs> Oh gosh, you guys. Okay, so I'm not going to be ink. <laughs> Just know I'm going to use this color to ink that. <laughs> See, look how pretty that color is. Ooh, that's going to be beautiful. Okay, so future reference. That's what I'm going to do. And um, this is this side, which needs now a little help, right? So let's put some beautiful things on it too. That's cute. Um, Zeke, not right now, baby. My dog is like, pitch me up, please. I'm begging of you. I just love that. Let me find some other things. I got all kinds of stuff, guys. Literally, just tons of stuff. Look at Ooh, I like that. Isn't that pretty? That would be so pretty. Right there. I like it. Let's do it, I say. Yes, we shall. Ah. Okay. I have not been inking on this project at all. Because I just wanted it to be more pristine and not so vintage looking. Because I wanted the blue and the white to pop. That's why I have not inked. Okay, going back to finish my story. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I went into work. I worked till like 10 o'clock at night on Saturday. So that would have been my sixth day working. And then on, I worked Sunday too on the phone trying to get staff. And um, people were asking me questions because of the flooding that we have over in this little town and the roads being closed. Uh, I needed to find out who was going to work. And, you know, like I said, I'm the last line of defense. If I needed to go in there, I needed to, I wanted to make sure that I was going to be available. And then I was kind of stressed out thinking about it. And then um, I kind of like it just like that, you guys. Really simple. I might leave that. Because that's the back side, so I don't think I need to do too much. This, I still want to put some lace in there. Okay. So then today, I um, today I was on the phone. I was taking today off. I was going to take today and Tuesday off. And then I discovered that um, a lot of the staff um, weren't going to really be able to come in. So I was scrambling on the phone, and I'm still not done scrambling on the phone, trying to figure out who's going to cover for this time off. Ooh, isn't that pretty? I wish it wasn't so big. And so far I have no idea. So I know I'm coming, going back into work tomorrow. That's cute. I like that. I'm gonna cut this. I am going in tomorrow. Let me see. This will be probably about right here. To cover. And then the rest of the week is going to be hit and miss when I will cover. 
see, I'm gonna cut this. I think I just want up to here, cause it's too big. So what I'm thinking about, you guys, just doing this. So we're California supposed to be having a huge storm again tomorrow, and. So I already know three people have told me they're not coming in tomorrow. So we are going to be very short staff where I work. But you know what? I'm okay with people not coming in, to be honest, guys. I live in a, a house that's very safe. There's no problem here where I live. Uh, so I ha feel no room to say anything. Because if I was them, I'd want to be home too. Um... I have one woman living, her house now looks like she's living in a lakefront property, which is, gosh, so awful. And I have three others in areas that just were told today that they're going to have to leave. So I feel bad for all my staff. I'm happy to cover for them if I can, you know. That's part of my job. But I do really like my, I really care about my stuff a lot. I think you can't run a place without being appreciative and grateful of your staff. I like to spoil them. <laughs> They're like my children. I, they always, I always mom them. <laughs> They probably think, oh, God, not her again. <laughs> Here she is with the momming thing. But I can't help myself. <laughs> mm, okay. I want to do small, something little here, maybe. Or an applique could be really pretty. Or, you know what? This might be random. I'm just going to try it. I recently just got this feather-like looking. Look at it. Looks like a feather. Isn't that kind of interesting? Feather or leaf? That might be cute here, you think? Different? I'm going to cut it and see what happens. If I cut this off here, make this more... I hate to cover that little blue up. What do you guys think? Cute? I'm not sure if I'm loving that. I think maybe something smaller like that might be cute opposed to something so large. I do like that it looks outdoorsy. That might be cute like that. I'm going to get rid of this little piece right here. See how it looks. I kind of like it. Kind of, sort of, maybe different you know what I can do I'm gonna tack it on I'm not gonna put it down real to this side or this side I think it might be that side I'm just trying to say which side I actually like better I think I like that side better so I'm going to just tack this down a little bit I'm going to go ahead and put it here. Cover her up a little bit, but that's okay. She's still peeking out. Isn't that cute? Okay. I'm just going to try putting this up here. I just want to see what it looks like. Might work, might not work. The problem with this, I should have made it on thicker paper. I'm just going to knot it and see what that's like. I think I like it. Not cute. I like the big fat knot. I'll just trim this up a little bit. And that will be for another project. Because I can't seem to throw anything away. <laughs> You guys, it's ridiculous how many little pieces of stuff I have. And it's going to be told. I like that. I have so much stuff. Um, little shards of things like this. 
I kept thinking, oh, I'm going to be able to use them one day, and I haven't yet, so I don't really know what to do with it all. I'm thinking about packaging it up, seeing if anyone's interested in it. Because they're beautiful pieces of lace and ribbon and all that good stuff. Oh, what am I doing? Putting the wrong tack into the wrong. Okay, so there's that. I'd still fill in these one more thing right here flower or something would be really pretty. Either that or another piece of this going the opposite way. Like a little one. Like that. Oh, I think I like that. I'm going to give it a shot and see what happens. Let's see. How do I want to do this? Hmm. I'm just going to go for chopping it like that. Kind of reminds me of angel wings, which I kind of like because she's so cute. I'm going to do it, do it. Yeah, there, I like that. Let's put it on, shall we? Yeah. So this is, once it glue is out of here, this bottle's in the trash. My dog chewed it, or my sister's dog, I should say, chewed it. <laughs> she's a puppy, so she doesn't know any better. She chewed it up, the top part. So I know I could probably drain it into a new bottle, but I just want to still use it while I can. There, that's cute. I love this. Cute. Okay, that's one down. Okay, I had cut this out and changed my mind, and there it is, little birds. Okay, let's get this stuff out of the way. Out of the way, out of the way. So I have all these little things I still, I started working on one backing it and thought that was really pretty i actually contemplated making like a little spinning kind of book like that you know with the brad but i don't know yet that was just the thought i had look at how cute little, little images are so cute i think i do want to make a bookmark see the problem with my little folio that i made is that I can't make things very high. See, it will cover that image. Okay, so let's move the feathers out of the way. Okay, this is really cute. This lady, I like her, but I used her and I used her already. So I'm gonna move that out of the way. And I have her on an envelope. So I might still use that image. See, this is one of the envelopes I cut out. I, that's what I turned into my pocket on the front of the journal. Isn't that pretty? I thought it'd be good paper. So I saved all my little pieces thinking I can use them somehow. That is so cute. Okay. Here's that adorable envelope. Which I think I'm going to... Let's, let's decorate this envelope. Because I think it's really pretty. Isn't that cute? I love that. I think with this, I probably will probably just maybe use lace. A little mini. <laughs> mini me. So you guys, I've got to find another inking. A dauber. Hold on, let me find one. I'm gonna go ahead and use this blue. And this is Stormy Sky. Let's see what it looks like. I think it's good. All right, let's glue this together. I've been using this a lot more because I'm finding that I keep staining everything with my other glue. I got to get the point on the other one, which I will work on getting that my glue into the other bottle soon. Okay. Pretty. So pretty. I love that color. Okay, let's decorate this. She 
she's really cute, this lady. Which could be cute here. That could be cute there. Like a ginormous stamp. Kind of like that. I'd like it a lot. I might trim off a little bit just right there. And I'm not going to ink it because I didn't ink anything except the inside of this envelope. So I'm probably going to leave it intact because I think it's cute. Um, I could turn that into some kind of a dangle situation. Let's see what I got floating around here. This is pretty. It's huge lace, though. It's huge. Too huge. Okay. If you guys could see off camera, you would. <laughs> You'd be shocked to see how much stuff is sitting here. I probably say that every single time. But hold on. I'm going to look for a little piece of lace that I think will be perfect. This is cute. Look at This could be cute for, like, making dangle. Right? Just cut it up. Like if I wanted to make her into a dangle. Or glue a little piece of lace on her. That's cute too, a little piece of lace on her. I might do that. Suddenly I liked it a lot. I'm just going to cut that. It's folded, but I kind of wanted it to be half, not the whole thing. So I'm probably going to just glue this on and then trim it. Let's just put a little glue on there. Little glue will do me. I like that. Ah. That's the only thing I have to say about this glue. I don't feel like it sticks real good. It's definitely not my other glue that I love. I never screwed that. It's hard to work with no thumb. <laughs> uh, okay. Kind of wonky. I think I like it. I think. Jury's still out on that one. I want to have something hanging there. Oh, you know what? Maybe a little doily. That might be pretty. For now, guys, I'm just tacking it down. I don't know. I might add to it. Something might strike me later on. I think, oh, I need to put that. So I'm not putting it down yet. Um, a little something there, too, would be awful sweet, wouldn't it? Have some little flowers. How cute would that be? Let me see. Okay, let's see. I'm going to do it. Okay, I'm going to put it a little bit lower. I kind of liked wasn't completely on top of that other thing. See if it'll stick. I still want something coming down here. I don't know what though. I got a frame, but I'm cutting it. Look at how cute that looks. Isn't that cute? I almost like it over her. Yeah, I'm putting it over her. I'm going to do it. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here.
so quiet in the house right now. Gosh, it's so bizarre. Usually I can hear the TV going. I'm guilty of that. I'm the one who, I play TV all the time. But I turn the TV on for the dogs when I leave <laughs> to go to work. I feel like the talking might help them feel not so lonely. The human voices, they get so sad without us humans. Poor babies. Isn't that cute? I like that. Don't you love it when something comes together and you like it? Might take a while, but I like that. I think that's cute. Very cute. But, of course, I don't want to stop there. Now I want something here, perhaps. Um, a little piece of ribbon would be just special. I wonder if I have anything. Oh, you know what? I have a bag of washi tapes from Amity Bloom. And I have some blues. Ooh, that might be pretty. Look at that one. I love Amity Bloom washi tapes. They're just so gorgeous. Even that's pretty. Look at that. I'm going to try some of these and see what they look like. Kind of partial to this one, to be honest. See if I can get it, how easy this will be. No thumb. Well, I have a thumb. <laughs> it's just... I can't use the nail, which, okay, here we go. Let me get this started. What do you guys think? See about her tape, how it has like the floral. See, I love that floral right there. Or you have that color. Let's see what's the next, the next one. Ooh, look at that. I love that writing right there. Is that pretty? Okay, so I only want that piece, so I'm going to try to roll it back, if I can. I want this piece right here, that writing. And then, whoop, ah, ugh, I think I'm going to just, I think that is so cute. I don't know why I like writing so much. <laughs> there, there, or there. Maybe in the center. I'm not going to use the flowers because I just want that. Ah, oh no, I think I cut into the envelope. <laughs> there. I don't know, I like that. It's different. I think. Now I got this tape everywhere. The flowers are pretty. I just don't know about the pink. Because I was really trying to stay away from pink. No, that's too much. What if I did this? Just got a little hint of color there. I know it's introducing a color that I have not used in this yet, but I think that might be okay. I wish I would have done one going down across. That would have been cute, like right here. What if I was to do a little, a little piece, like a tab right there? Ooh, I like it. I like it. And then just, oh guys, I hope I, I know my hand's in the way, I apologize. There. So it puts the color, carries it. I like that, different. Okay, so I'm almost, I just have a little piece left, which I think I could use. Maybe on this side? No. Maybe down here? No. Um, I'm not loving that. 
I don't know if I even want it. This I like. <laughs> the flower. Hmm. I'll just shove it there. I'm this I'm throwing away. I just don't think I really like it that much. That's cute. I like it. it added a little pop of color. I like the girl. Um, I like the lace. Yeah, of course, I love the bird. Pretty, right? This side, I know I could do more to it, but I want to keep it flat. So that way, when it's on the back of my folder, let me get my folder. Let's see. When it's on the back of my folder, it can lie flat. I love that. Can't wait to figure out what I'm going to put in it, too. Okay, so I have two envelopes done. Yahoo! Let me put these back. Okay. Let us make something. I really love this little kid. You know, I could do the little small envelopes. Let's see what I could do with that. So cute. I'm going to have the same issue. I want to go ahead and ink this and just put it on this paper here. A big storm coming in tomorrow. I went to the store today. It was packed. The store was crowded. And um, so I bought water just in case. Um, and some food. I checked my stocks, my supplies of canned goods, and we were we had a lot, so I wasn't really I'm not worried about that. Okay. But it was always good to get prepared. Oh, let me put that back on that tape. Uh, okay, that's not going to work. You know, this is so beautiful, this doily. Can you guys see that? How pretty that is? It's got to be used on something special. Like attach it here. Like not permanent, but like on a clip. I love that idea. I'm going to do that. A little clip with that. Would that be cute? I'm wondering how it would look. If this was opened up. Maybe not so much, huh? I guess I like it flat. Then maybe a little dangle over it would be cute. Yeah, I think I'm really going to like that idea. Look at I discovered. How cute is that? How fresh and sweet. Oh, I love that. Let's get it out of the way. Okay, hold on. Let's get this. I love this. Isn't that cute across there? Yes, I must do it. That is sweet. Sweet, sweet. I'm the worst gluer on the planet. <laughs> I tell you, I just can't glue straight. <laughs> I can't cut straight, nor can I glue straight. I don't know what my issue is. I'm just not a straight kind of person, I guess. I like to make sure that the little... The stuff all shows the same on the other side. See? This needs to come out a little bit more. Okay. All right. 
Moving right along. Love that. Cute. I love this little, look at how cute that is. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. Let me see my ideas if I still like that hanging there. Now it feels a little too big. What if I really used a piece? What if I really actually used a stamp? Hold on. It, here comes my box. I want something that would be cute. That blue one might be cute right there. Of course, it's not my favorite image on the planet. Be nice to have like a little flower, right? What is this? I see lurking. Look. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I'm just gonna use that one. I'm gonna use it. It's cute. I don't know if you could say post stamp is really cute, but I think it is. <laughs> you know, I have so many posted stamps, and they're some of them I really like, but some of them are kind of funky. And I don't never know what to do. Should I get rid of them? Keep them? What do you guys do with your stuff that you're not crazy about? I'm really trying to pare down what I have because I can't find any of my things. Is that crooked? Little crooked, huh? I can't ever find any of my things. It drives me bonkers. I hate that. Do you guys have that problem? I was watching a video with some woman who her stuff was so organized. Angela Kerr. Do you guys watch her? I was watching a video on her craft room. I was so inspired. I'm like, oh my gosh. I need to be her. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, I can still do this here. Hold on. Let me eat this guy up. Anyway, she had so organized. I feel like I organized and organized, and then I create a big giant mess because I need a big giant mess. Like everything around me, I use. And then it's just a big giant mess. So. I can't figure myself out. I know I don't have space. I have a very small crafting space, guys. And so I recognize that. I mean, I, re I realize my space is very limited. And I think maybe I'm just not buying the right things for storage. I bought all these clear, like, soft bins. They're kind of small, though. So they take real estate, but they're not real big. They're more narrow, almost like a giant shoe box in a way. So I don't know what to do about my storage situation. I keep hearing helicopters fly by because of the, the flooded site here, the little town over. Um, they are filming it and there's newscasts from everywhere here. Guys, I'm gonna get a drink of my Starbucks, my yumminess right there. Night blushes. <laughs> it's called the pink drink. Uh oh. Got wet. It's okay, I don't mind though, because if it ran, I would be okay with it. Um so anyway, I've been hearing helicopters all day long. Hopefully they're helping people, not just filming. Probably are just filming though. Isn't that cute? I don't think I really need to do anything else to that one. I think it's just so simple and sweet. Maybe the backside could use a little help. So what do I want to do with the back side? Oh, those little images I had earlier would be really cute. Let's see where they go. I had a little girl image. Ah, oh, here she is. Look at, isn't she cute? Oh, I'm getting a call from work, guys. Hold that thought. Okay, I'm putting that cute little image there. Just to give it some color. Okay. Cute. Cute, cute. Cute little girl. She cute. I love that. I kind of want to put a layer of lace so that you can see it through here. 
I could one more coming down. I think it'd be sweet. Let me see if this would work for me. Let's see what that would look like coming down. It's kind of cute, huh? It's kind of jagged, though. <laughs> Here, there's another. I'm pulling apart this entire thing I've made <laughs> because I love all the pieces you put on here. Amazing if <laughs> they happen to fit. What if I had oh my hair? What if I put this here? Or white. More of a white tone. I want to go solid white. Ooh, I like that. That's the ticket right there. You can't figure how big I need it. Right to here. I'll do halfway. That is cute. So if it's here, and then I just glue it to there. How cute is that? I like it. So let me go ahead and glue here. You guys, my ears are actually ringing and buzzing because it's so silent in here. I'm never with silence, ever. See, I like how it's just poking out just a little bit. It's... I'm always got something on. Even I have an air purifier that blocks my, the sound out at night. So I don't hear anything at night either. Oh, I think I did cut that a little short. Yee short. It's okay. Cute. I like that. I'm going to cure, yeah? Like it needs one little thing right here. Ooh, isn't that cute? That's a cute little thing. I put that there. <laughs> I like it. That is really cute. Uh, so anyway, I'm sorry that my phone is nonstop, and so I'm thinking about it nonstop. And um, keep the people in this area in prayer because I really feel bad for them. You know, they're the poorest of the poor people, the farm workers, and. Um, they're all displaced and our crops I don't know what's going to happen with this area we give a, we have a lot of crops um, so I'm wondering what's going to happen with that so that's another little scary thing okay that's cute so I did three things I did that and this bird I think I need something here now since I did that to here <laughs> Too precious for that. Okay, something else. Let me think. Let me think. Think, think, think. See, I have these little things floating around with stuff I like to kind of keep around because you never know what you're going to use. That's a pretty little bow, isn't it? Isn't that cute? I kind of like him there, that little bow there. Put a bow on her head. <laughs> Uh-oh, I must be getting tired because I'm wanting to laugh. <laughs> oh, goodness. Actually, it does look kind of cute there, doesn't it? kind of want to take this off now and put that there. Oh, well. Just leave it. Just leave it. I just want to use this bow. It's so cute. Somewhere. Where? Where can I use that little cute bow? Maybe there. That marks the spot. I'm going to put it there just because it's the perfect colors and it's just so cute. I want to use it. See, I love that little tray. You never know what you're going to find in it. Even though I have it sitting there, 
you know, what I do is I'll be working on a project and I have extra or some falls out of a bag. I just throw it on there and then times like this, it's perfect. Oh, it's not going to hold. I need the real thing. I need the real glue. <laughs> Give me the real glue. Come on out. Hurry up. Okay. So I'm thinking this video is going to be one wild montage of odd oddities. <laughs> I had dog barking. My phone was blowing up. I'm rambling on and on about the flood because that's all I can think about is a poor flood, like a block, almost two blocks away from me. Um, there's so much going on where my job um, and probably doesn't help that I've not had any time off. Uh, so... I gotta take some time off. Let's pull out the other thing I made. Guys, there's so much to use still that I wanna make. So that little girl, oh, isn't that cute? Do you guys ever like not loving something and then you take it away and then it comes back and you're like, oh, I love it. That's how I feel about this. I love that. This, my little one, little mini, mini me. I'm not loving that though. To be perfectly honest with you, you don't like it so much. What else do I got in here? No. No. I'll leave it for now. Here's a cute little paper clip. I just want to use it. It's so cute. I love minis. Look at that cute. I'll put something on there, maybe. <laughs> I'm going to use it. Ooh, maybe I can attach this to that. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. So, what I'll probably do is stack them like this, maybe. So, you can see, like, the different layers. Um... And then clip them on to this. Sorry I'm not set up, you guys. It really was spur of the moment that I'm doing this. I really felt like coming on and just not doing a, a video showing what I made, but like just hanging out. So my apologies that it's really out there video. <laughs> uh, let's see if it even shows the light of day. <laughs> you may not even see this video. <laughs> Oh, you guys, I can tell when I get tired. I can't stop laughing. That's what I do when I'm tired is I laugh, which is good because that's not bad to be laughing, right? Isn't that cute? So when they get this, they take it out, and then they're going to have all kinds of fun things in there. Oh, I love that. So we're going to press on because, you guys, I want to make more ephemera for this. I need to make more ephemera. So this is just for here. And I need stuff for my pockets. I gotta have stuff for my pockets. Isn't that cute? I love this. Yeah, I wanna make another envelope, like one of these CD envelopes. I wanna make another one of these. Look, there's all kinds of cute little labels I wanted to use, put numbers on them and stuff. Um, there's so much. So this isn't it. So I'm gonna do one more video of this kit. So it'd be so fun if you guys would get get it it's forget me not it's it's digital kit from old Messina. you can find her on etsy and if you were to pick that up it would be so fun to play together and i would love to see what you guys make i know there's so much talent out there i'm always so humbled by everybody's talent it's amazing really it's truly amazing um so we can continue making some ephemera and I, I got to make little things. You guys have so much stuff. Literally. Look at how much stuff I have left to work with. Excuse the trash. Minus the trash, right? That's not trash. I still use the little tidbits. I have that. And I still have this. And look at it. I have these. Uh, there's so much. So I can't possibly be done. I think it'd be so fun to hang out again, you guys, but I'm not sure. I know it'll be a hectic week, so maybe next week uh, we can play a little bit more. 
All right, you guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate you guys being here. Uh, I will come back hopefully with another video and we can press on to make more ephemera. Uh, until then, I hope you have a wonderful, blessed day. Bye-bye.